Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we're going to be talking about a new foundation that I discovered that I I absolutely love. I can say it, I absolutely love it. I was very shocked that I love it that much because um, I don't like a lot of their other uh, foundations that uh, they put out except for the Celebration Foundation. So yes, I'm talking about IT Cosmetics and I'm talking about the new Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream Plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF, SPF 40 UVA and UVB. So, um, so yeah. I was, I was really shocked that I, I truly love this product because I've tried the original CC Plus and I didn't like it at all. It was way too greasy for me. It was just, it was just too much, too moisturizing. So the, the thing about this product, that it has everything in it that you already need. So I discovered that I don't, I don't use my, um, Moisturizer. I just couldn't think of the word. So my Clinique Pep Start that I use every single day is has SPF 50. I do not when I wear this foundation, which I've been wearing it for a, about a week, I guess, um, maybe a little bit over a week, because uh, not every day. Just when I would when I would do my makeup, this would be what I would put on, just so I could like truly test it and just make sure that I truly liked it and decide what way I liked to apply it. Um, because I, I, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but yeah, so I don't use my moisturizer when I use this product. If you're super dry, I would recommend that you probably use a little bit extra moisturizer, um, but for me, being such an oily girl, this is plenty enough for me. Um, now, when I first got it, I did try it with my moisturizer, you know, just out of habit, I put it on, um, and it was, it was too much. It was, it would, by like, you know, like midday, I was super greasy, and I just, I just didn't like the finish of it. But also, I had used it in combination with the powder that it came with. So for me, that was just a little bit too much. I did get mine from QVC. Um, it was the value of the day. It came with the new foundation, the CC Plus um, finishing powder, as well as a brush. So on QVC, they were putting the um, foundation as well as the powder on with this brush. So that's kind of how I tried it the first time I got it, plus using this as my moisturizer, and that just did not work for me. I ended up like I was like, okay, so I really don't I, I don't like this, but I, I wanna I wanna try it another way, just like I did with the original CC. Um, I tried it different ways, and it still was just too too much for me. The original CC Plus from It Cosmetics. So then I tried it without my moisturizer because um, I just remember when I was watching QVC, they they say how all this and all your pretty much all your ingredients that you that you need is pretty much packed into this one foundation, which is pretty awesome. So uh, let me read you what it says it comes with. I had pulled it up on QVC, but like everything is pretty, yeah, every color is gone. Um, medium is waitlisted. If, you, if you're if you a medium coverage and you want to try and get it, it's, it's the same offer. It comes with the powder, um, the brush, and the foundation for $59.75, which is an awesome deal because just these brushes are probably about $50. $50. And I mean, not to mention, you know, this, the uh, foundation itself is like, I think, $38. do not quote me on that. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute when I get to it. But, um, but yeah, the one, the offer on QVC is not valid. Well, I mean, it's still there, like I said, but medium is waitlisted. Um, rich is waitlisted. And only one that they have actually available is their darkest shade called Deep. So it's it's very um, like it's probably not your best unless you're those colors best bet to get to get it there. But it is it is at Sephora. Uh, you can get it at Sephora or of course itcosmetic.com. So it says, and I'm on the itcosmetics.com where it is thirty eight dollars on there. Let me see where what it's priced at for Sephora. It's $38 uh, for Sephora as well. And Sephora is stocked with all the shades. There are 12 shades. Um, I'll go ahead and go through those for you real quick. There is Fair, Fair Light. Then there's Light, which is um, what I'm going to be putting on today. 
uh, there's medium, there's light medium, then there's medium, uh, neutral medium, neutral tan, medium tan, tan, rich, rich honey, and then deep is their darkest shade. Okay, so those are all the shades. Um, so the product claims, it says, bear with me, I'm just going to um, read off the website. So it describes the product. Let's see, it says, developed with plastic surgeons, your skin but better CC Plus cream oil free matte with SPF 40 delivers color correcting full coverage, anti aging skincare, and SPF 40 broad spectrum physical sunscreen, all with a poreless, natural looking matte finish that lasts. This multitasking, complexion perfecting, breakthrough instantly camouflages skin imperfections including dark spots without creasing or cracking and is clinically tested to reduce shine and control oil for up to 12 hours. It's also infused with charcoal to detoxify, colloidal clay to absorb oil and tea tree extract to combat blemishes, plus an advanced anti-aging serum made of hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, niacin, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, and antioxidants. You'll see powerful results instantly and more dramatic results over time. So, um, I do not know about the whole 12 hour thing. I don't know, I don't think I've worn it that long. I know for sure I've worn it for eight hours and when I perfected it, when I got it to where um, the way I was applying it and setting it, it lasted all day without even a touch up. I, I was that's what I was so shocked about. And when a foundation can do that for me, yes. Now, now, granted, there was a little bit of shine. You know, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like extreme like it, it can get on me because I'm super oily. I had even asked um, Debbie, my friend that I was with that day. I had it on like all day, and um, I asked her like what it looked like. Did I need to touch up? And she said flawless. So I took her word and I didn't touch up. But um, and then when I got home, I was just shocked how it still looked. It still looked good. So um, I'm super excited about this because I love it cosmetics. Um, I just think they're an awesome brand and they just have just good ingredients in their products for your skin. So. In my case, for me, everything is already in here, so I don't need to add anything. If I add too much to my skin, it's going to just produce oil because it's just like what's happening. You don't need this much. Um, so I'm going to show you today exactly how I apply it and what works for me. I do just want to say that I do like the CC Plus um, powder that it came with. It's the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder Sheer to Full Coverage Finishing Veil. And this has a SPF 50 in it as well. So um, I've actually been wearing this on its own, and I really like it. Um, I don't like it as much as my MAC Powder Foundation because that's just a, a bit more of a fuller coverage for me, um, and just just a better flawless finish for just in my opinion, of course. Um, but this is a good um, powder. Uh, eat as foundation or just something, a product that you want to put on uh, real quickly just to kind of make you look put together, um, which I have a video um, talking all about that. I'll link it down below. I actually I mentioned this product in there, but this isn't the product I used, but um, I did mention this product in there. So uh, so with that said, I'm not going to be using this today, but I've, I have used it and I do like it. I think maybe possibly if I could have gotten a lighter shade, this is the light shade. Um, if if I could get maybe the fair light or the fair in this shade, maybe it, because I felt like this added too much color. Um, Cause this is already, this light is pretty much my perfect color. So adding this on top of it, it was actually a little bit too much and it made me just artificially dark and I just didn't, I didn't like that. Um, so maybe with a lighter one, I don't know, but it also added a little bit more coverage, I think. And that to me was just, you know, my skin was just like, this is this is a lot. Um, so it just, by the end of the day, I was just a cakey, oily mess. And I just didn't, I just didn't like it with, compared with this. That's just my opinion though. It might work for you. I, I don't, I don't know. It just didn't work for me, but separately they work great. So 
Moving on, I'll talk about the brush real quick. I actually use the brush to put the powder on, um, and that works really well as well. It's just a great, it's a great powder foundation brush, but just having one of these brushes, it cosmetics brushes, are just phenomenal. Absolutely love them. I have a few in my collection. Um, I've usually gotten them from QVC with like a bundle of stuff because that's just the best way to get their brushes. I, I, I think it's just the best price. You're getting more for your money for sure. Um, but the brush is very good. Like I said, I like using it for the, pow the powder or e any powder foundation. I think this would be a very good brush, but I did not like it as far as like applying it with um, this foundation. So just wanted to say that, but I do like the brush. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this so y'all don't have to look at me uh, without any makeup on because I know that's not, it's not pleasant. Okay, I brought y'all in just a little bit closer. So I, I, so like I said, I did not put on any moisturizer, no primer. All that is in here. Um, the only thing I did do, you know, of course I, wa I washed my face. Um, I use a toner and a BHA product uh, on my skin every single day, twice a day, which I will be doing a skincare video. So stay tuned for that. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like trying to... Um, Kind of perfect it because I'm st even though I mean it's the same products I'm using, but I'm st I'm still kind of just perfecting it to where I get the the best re results from my skin. So it's just been taking a little time for me to be like, okay, yeah, this is this is what I want to tell them about, and yeah, so it just takes a little time. I want to make sure I have all the right information for y'all. So anyway, with that said, let's uh <laughs> let's go ahead and put this on. So I'm gonna just pump one pump. That's all it takes. You can um, you can do however many you want, but I'm telling you, just once is is pretty much enough. Use my blue beauty blender, but first I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of dot it everywhere. A little bit on my neck, and I just take the remaining uh, product that's on my hand. Get it on my beauty blender and just bounce away. So yeah, this is the best way. I mean, beauty blender is like my absolute favorite. So I don't know, you know, maybe that's just me. You may like the brush. Try it with the brush if you are able to get it with the brush or get the brush on its own. Um, I'll, I'll link everything for you down to, down below. I'll link the QVC one um, if those are your colors and you want to get that. Um, um, but I'll link everything separately so you can check everything out but yeah I just find that the beauty blender is just the best coverage um, it just gives me the best coverage and the best finish I don't know what it is but this just works best for me so I mean at the light um, I always found that the light in the original foundation was just a little bit too dark for me but for some reason this color in the matte formula is perfect. I'm absolutely perfect. I was going to get the light medium, um, but they actually sewed out of it before I could get my hands on it um, because, you know, I procrastinated a little bit because I was like, mm, you know, the CC one, the original didn't really work for me. I don't know. But then I was like, just get it. It's a whole, it's a whole different one. You could send it back if you don't like it. So I went for it, and I was just super excited that I really, really liked it. So, I mean, I mean, it's just, I can't, I just love, I love the coverage. I love the coverage. I mean, it just matches me perfectly. And there are, like I said, 12 shades in the mix. Um, I think it's a pretty good mix of shades. I think that anyone could find uh, their, their shade with those shades. I like just how the variety of them that they have, like the light medium or the fair light or things like that. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, it was good. Yeah, the light medium was the one that, no, it, was, it wasn't the light medium. It was the, um, I'm sorry, did I say that? It was the fair light. I was gonna get the fair light because the light in the original was always just a little too dark for me, um, but I ended up just getting the light because they sold out of that one super quickly. Okay, so this is it just on its own without anything. It is a little bit tacky um, when you first apply it. 
I don't know if anyone out there is against setting their foundation. You know, I've seen a lot of um, YouTubers that don't set their foundation. Um, I have to set mine just because it's a whole different ball game for me if I don't set my foundation. Um, so I'm actually going to set it with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. This is the loose powder. Um, it also comes in a compact form. I have the I have the illumination one in the compact form, but I'm actually going to set it with um, with this one. This isn't actually my favorite setting powder. It is a good setting powder, um, but it's not my favorite. Um, I think if I had to pick, I don't have any other um, setting powder right now. Um, but one that I've recently used, just a little bitty sample of one, was the Laura Mercier Translucent, I think. I can't quite remember the exact name of it, but phenomenal setting powder. Um, but this is the one I have, and this is the one I've been using along with the foundation, and I absolutely love it. So, um, real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and do my under eyes, and um, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll just go ahead and do my under eyes on camera. I was like, why not, you know? Um, so what I've been using lately, I've kind of been flip-flopping between, this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer, and then I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I have In the Shape Tape, I'm, I have light. Um, in the Laura Mercier one, I have, there's not really a color. It just says 1N. So I'll link those down below for you. Um, if you're interest, interested in those, but I'm going to use the Laura Mercier one today. So I just kind of get like where my little bruise parts are. I don't go right up underneath my eye where the creases are because, you know, I tend to get a little creasy right there. But I do take it onto my cheeks a little bit. And right around my nose. Kind of just put it in the areas I want to keep highlighted. I'm going to use my Big Beauty Blender uh, for this, but then I'm going to go in with my baby one because my eyes are kind of deep set, so it's hard to like get in there with the, with the big guy here. Uh, so that's why I like having the little ones on hand, and I like setting my powder underneath my eye with the little one as well. Okay, before I set my under eye, I always just set my face first because I like my under eye in this area, as I always say, to be just a little bit more highlighted than the rest of my face. So we're going to go ahead and set with the It Cosmetics powder. Now, fair warning, this powder is very powdery. So there's going to be a lot of fluff in the air. I don't know if you can, you just when opening it, you can see like the little, almost like smoke coming out of of the packaging. So I just dip my beauty blender in there. I'm going to tap some of the excess off in the cap and I just kind of pat it where I want it. You can see the smoke flying. Uh, and then I just go around and bounce the powder in. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know my absolute favorite under eye setting uh, powder is the Laura Mercier Eye Brightening, Secret Brightening Powder. Love, love, love this stuff. Ultimate favorite. So that's why I like to take my little, my little sponge. Don't be scared. I get a good amount of product on there. I kind of tap it a little bit in the top. I'm coming a little closer with my mirror. Um, if you're like me and you have some little um, lines underneath your eyes, go ahead and take your beauty blender and just kind of dab at those lines to get any 
makeup or anything that's in there make this face <laughs> and get that powder up on in there and this is going to set your under eye concealer and it's going to help keep everything out of those creases Anything I have left in my little cap, I take my, my big beauty blender and just kind of put it in those spots, those other spots that I won't highlight it. And you can kind of blend out what you did if it's a little bit too light, but perfect. All right, so I just wanted to show y'all that. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my face on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All done. Uh, so yeah, so this is the finished product. I mean, I, I just... I, I can't say enough good things about about this foundation. I absolutely love it. I mean, now that I've set it and everything, it, it just feels it just feels really good on my skin. And uh, like I said, I, I know I've worn it for at least eight hours, and it performed phenomenal. I'll see how long I can wear it today, and uh, in my next video, I'll I'll let y'all know um, if you know I was able to go longer than eight hours. Probably not, because you know, I fall asleep, and falling asleep with my makeup on is not something that I like to do. Um, but yeah, I know I've worn it for at least eight hours and um, it performed phenomenally and I I can't be happier with with the foundation. And I'm just super excited that um, I found another foundation uh, that I like and that it's easy to put on. It, it just blends super easily into your skin and it feels good on the skin, especially once you set it, for me anyway, because I find it's a little, it is a little tacky if you don't set it. Um, but I mean, you don't have to, you know, like pack on the powder. Like I just did, I just puffed it like one time pretty much and just took that all over my face and, and I was good to go. So I hope this was helpful. Is it, if anybody out there was curious about the new It Cosmetics uh, matte oil-free matte foundation. I, I know I was when I saw it coming on. Well, I got an email about it. And then I saw it was going to be um, the value of the day. So I, I went back and forth, you know, because that the original CC Plus, I, I did not do well with it. But what grabbed me on this one was the, the oil-free matte kind of thing. And just I like the fact that it's got good ingredients in it, anti-aging. It's got, you know, it's good serum it's in it. It's got SPF 40. So it's pretty much all you need. You don't need that extra moisturization unless you're super dry. I, if you're super dry, then I would maybe recommend... Um, Putting, adding your, your daily moisturizer to your routine before you put this on. But uh, for me, I don't need it. It works great for me. It doesn't break me out. It's just, it's flawless. It, and I find that it just, like, my pores, it, it, they just look blurred. I mean, they're still there, obviously. When I look up close, they're still there. But just it just kind of blurs them away. And it's just... Uh, I can't, I can't be happier with this foundation. So if you're curious about it, I definitely think you should go out and get it for yourself. Uh, you can always return it if you don't like it. Like I said, I, if you're close to my skin tone, um, I got the light. I'm usually in the light category, but I do have a little bit of like a neutral tan undertone. Uh, I guess that's with my Spanish jeans. I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah, so, but light works. I mean, perfect. Perfect coverage. I mean, I barely put any on my neck. I always kind of like to drag it down a little bit because I don't like any kind of line, whether it matches or not. I don't like any kind of like line. So I just kind of brought it down just a little bit. Um, but I mean, it's it matches perfectly for me. So yeah, 12 shades. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> I can't stop rambling about this product. I really do love it. And my favorite way to do it is with the Beauty Blender. Um, but that's just me. I do like the brush. But it, I find it didn't apply well for me with the blush. Uh, with the brush. But, um, but yeah, it's like, like always this, these are just my opinions. These are um, just how they the product does for me. Everybody's different. Everybody's skin is different. Very easy to put on and just super blendable. I, I know. I'm ranting, as always. When I love something, I just rant and rant and rant. Okay, so I'm going to let y'all go. I hope 
And once again, this was helpful and y'all enjoyed the video. I will link everything down below um, as far as, you know, these products and my powders and setting products that I used in this video today. I do want to mention a, a tip for any of you oily girls out there. Um, the MAC Fix Plus, the original, I haven't ventured off and tried any of their other ones. I know like they have the fragrance ones and things like that. But any type of fragrance product that I put on my face doesn't do well for me. The original works great for me. And, and just a little trick for all you all oily girls out there. I spray this before I put on my foundation. After I have already done um, moisturizer and all that primed and all that good stuff, I give this a good spray. I put on my foundation and I set it with my powder. And before I start my bronzing and anything else I want to do on my face, I spray it again and let that sink in. And then I do the rest of my face and then I spray it again to set everything. And that to me with with any uh, foundation has worked for me as far as like keeping my oil under control. Now I do get, I'm gonna get shiny during the day. It's just gonna happen. It, there's no, you know, there's there's no magical product out there that's not gonna keep me from getting oily. But it's gonna help control, and it's just gonna help me not have to um, continue to blot all day long. But I know with this product. I didn't blot that entire day at all. And by the end of the night, I, it still looked it still looked flawless. I was shiny, not super shiny, but it still looked flawless. No cakiness, no awesome. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. So thank y'all so much for watching. Once again, everything will be linked down below. Um, come follow me on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. I do have uh, Facebook and all that good stuff, which I'll link all that down below as well. Uh, check out my Goodreads and all my book talks because I love reading. I love books. And if you love all that too, come and check those out. I'm usually doing my makeup while I'm talking about a book because it's my two loves, makeup and books. Just love them. So, so yeah, if you, you like all of that, um, come subscribe, thumbs up, whatever, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Y'all have a great week.